Dylan Freechild, Eugene, Oregon, South Eugene High School. Where does your intensity come from? <laughs> I'm not sure because it's definitely become a little more difficult to maintain that intensity. When I was younger, it was easier, and, and now sometimes it's a little bit fake it till you make it. And, and I've t kind of started to toy around with trying to be on and trying to play my best without having to hit that level of intensity because you can only hit that so often. Um, it used to be easier, and when I was younger, I don't, I don't know exactly where it came from. I, I think a lot of my intensity actually comes from my definition of how I view spirit, and I think a lot of my frustration with how I viewed it a little bit differently from a lot of the stuff that I was fed growing up. You know, my high school team never gave out you know, we, we never really had a spirit award. We never gave out awards, but we felt that we could play the game honestly and effectively and that that would translate and that that was, you know, that was the way the game was supposed to be played. So I think a lot of that came from, a lot of my frustration and, and intensity came from that is showing that you can play the game with intensity and passion and still really be honest with yourself and be honest with, with the rules and the game and not cheating your opponent um, and putting that responsibility on your shoulders. And I think a lot, growing up, a lot of people said that that wasn't the case. And I think I've always done it my way and done it honestly and always stayed true to that. And I think that has been seen by most of my peers at this point um, and seen by most of my coaches. And I think that that's respected. And, and I can respect that at the same time, others may believe that maybe I have either walked that line too closely or crossed it. And, and that's a learning experience. And I think I, I've adapted and changed and it's made me um, it's maybe a different person for better, I think, but if you rely on that kind of energy to play your best all the time, then it's going to be difficult, you know, whereas players who are a little more cerebral and, you know, understand how to take on the game and challenges um, in a more consistent and efficient manner are going to play their best more often. Um, so I think transitioning kind of to that portion of my career will help for me to you know, play my best regardless of whether it's a big game or whether it's practice.